Yes, perfect. Get the idea. Perfect it's good here. It. Tickus is good here. No, oh, no. It's gonna be maybe a roaming support slaughter from No Tail. He played that in our last Captain's Draft tournament, and he was really good that game. So if we don't yeah, get Tekis, kind of at least denial. we get at least we get something else that's cool here with the slaughter. The bit up. of a denial is I'm not sure if Fnatic would have wanted slaughter, but it's obviously really good against Lifestealer. Goes to Beige. Team Secret used all their time, which means Fnatic, going by pretty quickly, have a ton to work with for his last pick. So they have the Kunkka. Um, Jakira or ET could be off lane, right? So they have a little bit of flexibility there. I prefer. It could also I be Kunkka mid. Yeah, Kunkka mid. Well, that's what I was thinking. It's Kunkka mid. Oh, okay. Um, somebody with Crystal Maiden with maybe a tri lane. They could even do a Jakira Elder Titan off lane. I mean, this is like Captain's Draft, right? So yeah, you and the do, lanes of Secret aren't that good. Lane. Although, if they do Avenge, Lifesteal, or Slaughter lane, that is pretty good. <laughs> So, there's no guarantee yet for Fnatic. A lot of melee, but that is a lot of damage, too. Oh, just please, just get it over with. Come on. You Can't know you want it. Like, suicide goes through Rage. You don't have to worry about that if that's what you're wondering about. Yeah, Fnatic. Suicide also goes through Doom. Wait, what? I mean, you just... <laughs> Ten <laughs> seconds remaining. That would be cool. <laughs> if you could activate Suicide. When you're doomed? Uh, oh, I, I just thought even... for a moment. Wow. Wow. I was gonna say, I wasn't expecting any Invis heroes coming out. But then again, it is no tail playing Slaughter, which means he might not get that many levels of support, but it's tough to say. It's, it's still, say. The, the whole thing with Slaughter being the great counter to Invis heroes is about the opening, right? So you need to get the amp on first, and then it's great. But if Clinks gets the jump, then the amp doesn't really matter that much. Of course, you can track him if you start winning the fight and you want to chase the enemy team down, but it's a common misconception that's just like Slaughter against Invis heroes is amazing. Secret can get against Invis Heroes is still a gem, because then they see Clinks coming and then yeah. they open. And then the slaughter is great, because when you have the gem and for the initial vision and then you track him with the amp, then you're good. But until that point, it's not there's no guarantee that that he's gonna Ten counter or out arise per se. So anybody watching right now that has Twitter uh, and follows Five both Cinder and I, Cinder and Dota, Sunspan TV, give us a little tweet and maybe to the teams as well, saying hashtag Techies almost picked. We'll just <laughs> leave it at that. We got close. He was almost picked, guys. Come on. <laughs> almost. He was There's in the There's only like eight more heroes. Prepare yeah. for battle. Ooh, this Kunkka set. This is the Kunkka Kunkka set. Nice. Admiral Kunkka, yes. I love that. What is it? Bestowments of the Divine Anchor, I think it's called. And you it's can't buy it set. anymore. Which... Really? Yeah. It's. It was in the chest for TI, so the limited time offer. Interesting. Well, then I'm happy I have it. All right, let's go over the team. So... At the top rune right now, we have Jakiro, played by Ace. We have Key, playing the Elder Titan. Hani on... Now the question, okay, Hani playing Kunkka, does he go Boots of Travel Scotty, is the question, right? <laughs> That's his build on everybody. Arise on the Clinks at bot lane, and accompanying him would be Crit, playing the very breasty Crystal Maiden. Yeah, they still haven't... Is that a word? That. I meant busty, but breasty sounds good, so I'll go with it. <laughs> And on the dire side, equally busty Doom will be played by Simba in the bot lane. We've got S4 in the mid lane on the Queen of Pain. Slaughter will be played by Big Daddy No Tail, so Roaming supports Slaughter. Love seeing that. Puppy will be playing Vengeful Spirit. And then that finally leaves Kuro once again. Or, sorry, not once again. Back on his regular position for Secret, rather, on the position one life Should be good, should be good. Okay, so we're gonna have Jakiro off lane. Versus. The battle begins. Li oh, look at Cardi. Look at Cardi go. He's bringing that to Puppy, I do believe. So we're gonna have VS and Life Steal versus Jakiro. Uh, Jakiro, pretty, for an intelligence hero, I'm it's pretty good strength gain, pretty good starting strength as well. They do have a major advantage with these two. They have a great, one of the best level one slows if you can get it off and open wounds if you level it right away. And then a solid stun with Vengeful Spirit. That's gonna be a tough lane for Jakiro. And he only has two armor as well. That's like the third yeah. thing you want to check. You want to check, first of all, how good's the movement speed? Or, well, are there like escape mechanisms in general? What's the health like? And what's the armor like? And yes, he's got good health, but when you have low armor, he isn't much more tanky than most offlaners with like 500 or 550 health. So, I don't know if he can come close to them even. If Kuro holds the lane, this Jakiro is going to be a completely lost almost in the top lane. And Boots actually picked up by No-Tail right away. He was attempting to gank mid, but Hani spotted him out one way or another because of, in all likelihood, this ward. So, how crucial, and again, this is very small sample size since we've only seen this one time, in recent memory at least, 
Dyer's middle How important is, is it to get levels on this support Lardar? Rush. Um, hero. I think the most important thing is getting, like, in comparison to other heroes that are extremely reliant on getting a good level 6 ultimate, the plan of no Tail and how he wants to play the hero is... He's not really level dependent. I think the biggest level up for him is getting level 2, just so he has the 20% sprint. Because then he can start playing the hero the way he wants, which is roaming around, trying to find pickoffs. Do you expect um, him to get level 2 in this lane and then start roaming 100% of the time? They could be smoking with Puppy then, and try to go into the Radiant Jungle, and then maybe from there either gank mid or gank bottom, and perhaps the Snowball S4 in the mid lane I think would be a great call. Queen of Pain already does well against melee heroes like Kunkka, and then if she gets a gank, she will crush him in lane. Puppy trying to get in front. The dragon is too fat, you can't position it to get ahead. No Tail not level 2, only half level 1 right now. We have dual breath coming out. Dual breath might have just the killed him. It just and there's killed actually him. a haste rune here as well. Okay, first so first blood going the way of Secret. Who gets it is the question. Queen of Pain first and a haste rune to boot. Actually, No Tail might be taking this. Either. And he does. <laughs> and they turn this into kill mid even. Well, thinking about it, Hani should know this is coming though. He has a ward there. So even if he's moving a little bit back and forth here. He kind of just wants Slaughter to waste his time. There's no way he's going to get ganked. I think even if Slaughter catches him with the crush, he still lives. They don't have enough damage to bring him down with Thought just level 3 quap. So, wouldn't be surprised to see him trying for a last hit or two here. No tell, very patient. Very patient. He should know now that there's a ward there for sure. I mean, that's two times that his gank attempt has been thwarted, thanks to that very ward. Uh, mid lane, Punka, 5 and 2 versus a 12 and 7 Queen of Pain. We don't see this matchup very often, obviously. Uh, shouldn't be too surprised. Any kind of a, a kiting mechanism against a melee hero in general, very effective. Obviously, Kanko maybe a little bit different because he can harass range as well. But Queen of Pain definitely ahead in that lane. Yeah, and if S4 gets the lane back on his cliff, which is very easy to do with Hani, even pushing with Tiger, a nice torrent, game. Frostbite. Do they have an ice path to follow? No, but he might take down. He's going to bottle up it to his heart's content, and he will barely live. If they had Ice Path, he didn't level because he was forced into the jungle. You can't really blame Jakira for not having that. But that would have definitely been a kill. Or if Crystal Maiden had Nova. I think Crit is going for the m least... Ooh, you're right. The least common CM build. If you jungle CM, you usually get Frostbite, Aura, Aura. And if you play lane dominance, you get Frostbite, Nova, Aura. Or maybe not even Aura at all. But his build 2-1 is very strange. And I think that would have been a kill with a Nova point. So, unfortunate for Fnatic here. Not really the best skill build in this particular situation. He's gonna guard the rune though. This could be his death. This yeah, could be a fight. Be in trouble. Well, they see him. Again, it's the same ward over and over again. Frostbite's gonna be used on No-Tail. s is here to help save the day. Who picked up the rune? It was actually Crystal Maiden, but she's gonna pay with her life. So another kill going away. They have Secret. Now Hani on the run. Get something delivered to him. Might have been a health bot or something like that. Dual Breath forces the rest of Secret out. At least they didn't get the rune. I, I mean, that was the objective and... Crystal Maiden lived up to her name. Well, she did get... She got a... What was that? A bounty rune. So, and fairly okay. some XP and gold to, to die with. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, Better than nothing. It's going to port back mid. They might get Big Daddy No-Tail now. If they get an X off, he's dead, I think. Even if they don't torrent combo. Yeah, they don't have enough for the combo this right is, now. This is good enough. All right, into a frost fight. Dual breath to follow. And Slardar will fall. If he's forward, a little so bit too I late, it's probably going to be on board. And it's funny to see how the lanes are playing out with, with farm. So the safe lanes for both teams are pretty even. Arise sitting on 33 on Clinks, Kuro sitting on 32 on Lifestealer, so completely even there. And then the mid laners have really low farm. And 15 on both of them at 5 minutes in, it's just because of all the action that's happening right now. And at the same time, the off laners for both teams as well, <laughs> not really getting that much. So, interesting distribution of gold. I still... Th I'd still say Secret are coming out ahead, especially with the farm on Puppy, who has 11 CS in the jungle in the Venge. Uh, we'll be getting some some valuable item out of that, probably some boots or maybe an urn soon. And a single Simba... woman smoke by CM, by the way, is now again thwarted, but oh. this time not by a ward. It's the Slardar himself. So they should be aware that Slardar is in the vicinity and Clink verify that information. Uh, what do you think about Clink's leaving lane so early? I mean, typically not, not you get that. You get that quick orchid, right? Typically speaking, and then that's when you start the roaming process. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pointless rotation. I think it's very unlikely for it to work, and it's also very obvious for Secret when Arise leaves lane right now. They, they'll see it immediately for the fact that, okay, there's no pressure on the lane, Doom gets to move around like he wants, Clink's probably not here. 
And then they just played safe in the mid lane as a result of that. And Arise they just are lost 10 runes. CS. Yeah. So... They are denying runes to the Quap, who is now going to be forced to bottle Crow. Even though there is a rune top, in fact, and that's going to be a surprise to them. They probably figured Hani or Crystal Maiden. Got... What do you think about Crystal Maiden in the jungle now? She's typically used in the jungle after a slow start. Some of it was... Um, I mean, it's basically Jakiro, at least at the beginning stages of the game, where they were sharing the jungle, and that might have... I guess they could do opposite sides of the jungle. It's not like they clear out very quickly. As far as levels are concerned, though, that's, that's not, it's actually pretty evenly across the board. As no Tail puts down a ward, it's going to spot out ET, otherwise known as Earth Spirit, <laughs> according to me. <laughs> every game. Every freaking game. They're thinking about diving this. I think they could, too, because what's the TP support from the Radiant going to be? There's no TP on crit, there's a TP on Aces Jakiro, but he's not particularly useful. And then there's a TP on Hani. I think that's the bigger one. If he comes in and gets a ship off in time, he could turn the fight and save his ally. But even then, the burst damage, I think I think Seeker can just run down oh, this They're going to run Titan. right into him. They're going to need to... Okay, they are going to dive. If they TP now, they're going to lose more than one. He is into so Into open wounds, got to aggro the tower now. They don't even need Radiant's to. Kuroki just tanking up. He's gonna use his ultimate in fest to get a little HP back very shortly. Oh, S4, S4 taking a lot of damage. He's gonna blink out. Tower will not finish him off. Hani in the meantime, X marks his spot. No, looks like it will connect on No Tail. This will be a consolation kill for them, but they do lose the Elder Titan. That's a pretty they don't lose okay. The tower, though. That's an even trade, I think. Dyer's Good response from Fnatic. They did have to attack. use a TP or two for that, but considering that the mid lane from S uh, from Secret S4 was ganking too, I think that's that's a that's perfectly okay. Oh, he's gonna try for crit. Oh, my oh nice I can't believe that was in range. I that was had to be in the max fools. range for scream. Either way, another mid -lane? kill going the way of Secret mid lane, as you <laughs> talked about. Thank you. This is actually no. better. Usually you're like, oh my god, and I don't know what the hell lane you're talking well, about. Well, the funny thing is, I'm just looking at No-Tail rushing in on Hani with a level 1 Slithering Crush, 2 in Sprint, and no damage output. And he stomps and has, like, no potential to do anything. Well, honestly, normally you're it's scared of that, right? But yeah. because he's support and underleveled, you're like, oh wait, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's just bullying him, which is funny Bottom to see. Bottom lane, Nova's used onto Doom. This looks like an easy pickoff going the way of Clinks in this particular instance. He has one of the Oblivion staffs, so working towards that that Orchid, which would be amazing against a Queen of Pain in particular this game. The Life Stealer too. Yeah, like, well, sure. It, can I, they really I don't burst even... him down? Yes, they definitely Life can when lot... he's Orchided. Life Stealer's a For lot sure. harder to burst down either way, it's though. Than... Three armor, though. Three armor and a thousand health against Queen of Pain with. Or armor and a thousand health? Well, a thousand like, health even... for now, but once you get the Orchid, I'm sure. Uh, oh, what do you the, think the S4 stealer, purchases maybe. this game, though? Did he go for, like, a Lincolns to combat that, or a BKB, even? I think he gets an aggressive item himself, either an Orchid first oh, or a swap straight Hex. Into a Doom slash stun. Another kill, this time going the way of Seeker. So it ends up being a trade, Simba gets his redemption. And it is 3 to 5 Seeker's advantage, as far as score is concerned. I really like this. No Tail now at top lane, gaining some solo experience for himself. He really needs it. You're talking about the level 2 was very important to get in your right, but because of those ward placements, he wasn't able to really get any successful ganks off, other than that, that dive in the top Dyer's tower. So tower getting that level 6 attack. now is going to be even more important, especially against the Clinks, which basically has nothing to counteract the Amplified Damage. We're going to have a Smoke by Fnatic. Level 5 Crystal Maiden, that's really surprising. Yeah, she got the, the lockdown in the bot for this lane. Oh, he already nice used this. the blink too. Into the torn, into the ship. Frost. Okay, nice swap. Do they have enough to finish him off though? S4. Not able to get away. It's a level two blink, so the cooldown not the greatest. Either way, probably would have been killed regardless. Yeah, if he wouldn't have blinked, he would have lived there. That's yeah, the funny that's... thing. He got to pay for using blink, and whenever you're, it's it's an instinctive play for a lot of players. And he thought maybe he could get out before the X mark animation got finished, but he didn't, and because of that, he got killed. Because that swap from Puffy was great, and if S4 had a blink, he was out of there. Blinks again, roaming a bit, trying to get a kill in this mid lane with the help of Hani. Could actually do that. Hani does not have enough mana to combo, however. Blinks designed to using his ult in eight seconds on. Oh. Target, which Doom will actually find. His Doom was not up for the five seconds. I don't know if that would have been enough for a kill, however. I think Arise probably... was fast enough on the skeleton walk button anyway. And then, even if he gets doomed after that, he just runs away. So, 
bottom lane. Oh my god, the Sonic Wave completely whiffs for S4. Might be... Not really matter, actually. Ace is going in circles, and the right click will be enough. In fact, Vengeful Spirit will take it with the Howl of Terror. Now it's a level 1 Howl as well. That's 30 damage <laughs> from Puppy. Pure it's damage like S4, now. S4, if you can't hit your spells, I'm gonna hit mine. I'm gonna have to take it from you. How often do you see a Crystal Maiden out-leveling an Elder Titan on the same team? Not uh, by much, but not still. that common. That's true. Well, they were both support, though. The Jakiro was the core, yeah? That is true. Yeah. Yep. So. Either way. Not that not that unlikely, to be honest. If CM gets one gank off and jungles faster than ET, which she does, then... It's to be expected, but it still looks a little weird. Based on our usual expectation Radiant's of Elder Titan being an offlane hero. Gets played a lot of support these days. Back into the jungle. He's gonna find Doom. Not enough for solo kills. I don't think you want to waste it here. You need at least one person to back you up with a stun or a slow. Looking for this 12-minute rune. Who gets it is the question. Oh, he's actually scared off by the S by S4 by the S4. I'm sorry. I was correcting my actual statement. Puppy taking some astral spirit damage. Should be able to get away. And actually, Elder Titan might be the one in trouble. He takes a stun in the face. Here comes Kunkka to help out. Who with the rage? This should be enough to get the kill. Oh, the boat actually dealing a lot of negative damage. Negative that, damage. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the actual one. The rum is so delicious to drink. And now Hani's in a lot of trouble. No tail has the crush in. Oh! Okay, the sprint is still up. This should be an easy one. Another pick up on the way of secret. So a little bit over aggression from Fnatic. The negative. Uh, what did I call it? Negative damage. <laughs> well, it's like. I'm trying to the term. The neg no, damage mitigation. Dyer's yeah, that's right. Mitigation. That's too, right, that's too hard to think of in the I love negative the damage, though. It's a cool yeah. idea. It's called it healing. Kinda is, it kind of is negative damage. It's healing? It doesn't heal. Well, then know. it's not negative damage. The cocoa rum, okay? I'll just yeah. call it cocoa rum is delicious and then everybody will know what I'm talking about from now. That's true. Well, that's still... The, I don't know, the, the chase there from Elder Titan I feel like was a bit naive. They didn't have any vision. He was trying to get a, an Echo Stomp off against Avenge who can just turn on him and stun him herself. And then, yes, you, get, you let Kunkka catch up, but... What's the price? Like, the other heroes were missing, there was a very high counterplay potential from Secret, so... I kind of disagree with that attempt from Fnatic. They didn't even get a kill, right? No, they both got killed and got no one in return. That's really expensive when they're already trailing quite a bit in this game. Punka chooses to go drunk. We have the Yule, first Yule's pickup, and it's actually on Fnatic. What a surprise. This is kind of the universe patented build. I mean, this makes for a very Dyer's easy ice path, very easy macro fire into... Even dual breath on top, you can spam literally everything. Um, whatever, what happened to Jakiro? All of a sudden, like a few months ago, just top tier hero. The liquid fire was given a buff at some point. Then there was Dyer's a nerf middle tower with, is under attack. with dual breath, There's right? That does uh, damage. That was a over rework. Time. It's not exclusively a nerf. I think it's worse than uh, worse in most cases. Depends on but... the situation, I guess. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Swap into stun ace. Looks like it'll go down a solo Sonic Wave. Not sure if that was even needed, but used regardless of the fact. So a 1 for 0 right now. Crystal Maiden looks to be dead, but beautiful ultimate. In fact, it's going to be enough to take out Kuroki on the Life Stealer. Boat is actually going to connect as well onto Doom, so it's a 2 for 1 just like that. Crystal Maiden somehow lives. You do not see that very often. Like That's 4 heroes surrounding her, Doom even like used. Crit. Amazing. So looking for the night. They really want And he's to. even going to live through Doom because yeah. of the boat. Just... Excellent play. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you were saying. Was it really? Well, if S4 dies for this, that's not worth it that at all. If he gets x now, he's dead. Honey, or not kid. in range. Oh, he's Take getting away with murder here, S4. And the tower, how convenient that your creep wave happens to be right next to it. Wow. Radiance top tower is under attack. Bulls is up. In fact, he's going for a TP. Yeah, it looks like he'll get it off. Orchid, though, as we saw in that fight, was picked up now by the clinks. So expect uh, decent the timing. Ganking to from our eyes. He's still 30 CS Midas, behind Crow way. though. Double Midas gaming for secret. We have Doom and Broki on the life stealer. So. Yeah, and that means if there's not much action being being done by the Radiant, then they're gonna just lose out in the economy battle Radiant's as well. And I don't think they have better late game attack. either. Life stealer together with amplify damage is gonna hit so the damn Dyer's hard in late game. You even have the attack. Doom. Oh my god. So. Blink dagger on support yeah. oh, no tail. He has a blink. That's huge. That's Expect a decent the timing, bombs even to, for a core. It's really good. Having tranquil's blink. I, I mean, it, by no means is it good. If you have a complete free farm, you have this in like 
seven or eight minutes, but a core who's been shut down will be okay with this amount of farm at 15. He has it on a position four. That's really damn good. Gonna be a surprise Nick sandwich for somebody. As a lot of heroes are amalgamated top for Fnatic. Astral Spirit will actually scout some out, I believe. And Nick's bomb will be at... I don't know what they're doing. They're going to mid lane farm, perhaps? I guess they didn't know the entire... We have more vision. No, they did have vision. There's a ward here. I think some of the they Radiant team was yet. smoked at that point, or Radiant's we're not inside that ward. That ward was attack. placed 18 seconds ago, so oh, okay. I'm not sure if they if they saw the entirety of the movement, but I think they just are in disbelief of the movement of Fnatic. They're like, they have to be showing someone bottom. We, oh, we're pushing for eight links after the X, into Boat, into Torrent, and the Frostbite. To add insult to injury, that's an easy kill going away of Fnatic. But meanwhile, top lane, we have a lot of action. Arise. Tries to use the Orca, that was kind of cute, but in the end the swap's going to cancel it and dies as a result. So three for one, even though they're in different lanes. And that's actually hilarious. How did Slaughter get back top if he had just TP'd bottom? He sprinted and blinked the whole way. He has 522 <laughs> so movement he speed. TP'd bottom yeah. and sprinted all the way back. That's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of hilarious. Even Crystal Maiden going for... Hanamitis. I don't Fnatic. agree with it that at all for Fnatic. I think it's the wrong it's the wrong play call. They need items that have value right now. They need to start winning the game now. If they play for late game, I think they're gonna get crushed. Even if CM gets that, there's still a swap to stop the freezing field. There's still a stun on slaughter. Queen of Pain will get a hex or an orchid next after a BKB, I'm assuming. There's a Doom who can stop it with two abilities. And Lifestealer doesn't even care about the freezing field that much, so I don't know. I, I think it's too greedy. And they can't they're just trying to play Secret's game, and they're not going to win that game. Oh my god, a full SNY picked up. He had Yasha before, but SNY now on, on Life Studio. Looking at the net worth, it is big time in favor of Life Studio. Despite going to Midas, usually you don't see that payoff this quickly, but he is Eight. far in the lead, and he's going to infest into his little buddy, No Tail. They find, nope, the crush not going to oh. be there. The damage from infest hit Ace, but nice. a little bit out of range. <laughs> the damage hit him, great. <laughs> Hey, it scares I, I bet that's what Kuro's saying. Well, at least I hit him with Infest. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, bro. There's the Midas. 18 Why minutes in. Fun? I, I, hmm. Uh-oh. We have a, a smoke now for Secret. Arise is looking They're at mid. They're positioning on mid, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Arise, like you said, has treads now to be a little bit more tanky. I think he got spotted by this ward. He might be the target for, for the Dire now. They're smoked up. They know if the smoke breaks, that is probably a rise there, and then they can try to dust or sentry. They have everything. They just blink dust crush with the slaughter. Yeah. It's a rough combination for the poor clinks who have much HP at this point. Did he eat a creep? He did. So he's going to lose his 1500. is actually pretty healthy. But he's going to run directly into the enemy team to get everything they need to be able to see him. Sonic wave you soul. This is definitely worth it, though. And S4 taking credit for that kill. Smoke, though, used by Fnatic. Can they turn this around? Doesn't look to be the case. Uh, they used Unless this they 20 themselves. seconds ago, so Secret just run in, they get a kill, and they get out. And Fnatic, meanwhile, waste a smoke. So huge victory for Team Secret if Kuro doesn't get caught now. But what are they going to catch him with? The only thing they can catch him with is the Orchid that clinks who's dead. So Kuro is playing with a lot of confidence. And they're just going to go for Roche, as a matter of fact. Slardar. The guy they really want there is in base, so no amp right now. Oh, he's, he's getting a, a medallion for this even. Yeah, when he shows up, Roche is dead. Like, team, I'm coming with medallion. He's not coming. Okay. No. Roshan has At least it's a trade of some sort. They get, and I get something out of it, which is a tier one top. Aegis, though, goes the way of Kuroki. And his farm advantage is just disgusting at this point. Top three net worth's actually going away. And Doom, which, this is the most surprising. He was bottom lane against two. Had trouble at the very early stages, but with the rotations coming out from Fnatic, he actually gained a lot of levels and pulled it as a result. Um, and then the Midas hasn't really seen any pressure. Again, we have to blink after the X. They have a lot of confidence in getting that off, but it's going to result in an absolute decimation with the ship torn and everything used in between. Now this top tier two. Well, perhaps you're going the way of Fnatic as well. Doesn't look like Secret are too interested in fighting. They're happy with just giving up this tower and trying Dyer's to split push a little bit bot lane with Kuro, attack. but he's not going to reach anything. Still, Fnatic are scared of this fight breaking out, so they're not committing to the tower. And if they're too slow, Slaughter is going to be back to life and Secret might want to fight, but nah, no glyph. This, this is a goner. 
And I was talking about how Orca would be so good against Dyer's Queen of Pain. Well, she has BKB, has so no longer the case. You're right, Radiant's pretty much. I mean, you can use it on anybody, I suppose, but now Lifesteal is probably your top target. Although, has an Aegis, so I'm not sure how, how helpful that would be. As for actually forced to pop the BKB, he's gonna blink in, not gonna find anybody with Scream, and this will, in all likelihood, cause him to retreat thanks to the cooldown. Meantime, Doom has a blink dagger, has Doom, or has Nakes infested inside of him. For a kill on. <laughs> Is this gonna be a kill on Crystal Maiden? As, as long as I don't use Doom, it'll be it'll be fine and worth it. They, they get away with it, no problem. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And now they're gonna look it's for the two two tower themselves. Oh boy, Torrent. Puppy is not enough mana for the boat. But yeah, Orchid, everything used for Puppy. No tail was trying to help his comrade in arms. Gonna get a crush on absolutely nothing. The trees do take a lot of damage, however. We'll back up. It's team support. Imagine if the trees had health. Get wrecked, jeez. <laughs> then that means anybody could kill them, right? Yeah, then you could. As long like, as they have some sort of AoE. Yeah, with it, you couldn't attack them, but you could, in theory, kill them with any spell if they took enough damage. So, in other words, the Kuroki infest earlier would have killed yeah, a couple trees. That's right? true. Maybe that's what they were going for. New implementation we don't know about in the next uh, 6.83. I have no idea how useful that would be for anyone. I'm, I'm thinking something like Echo Slam or Fissure or two. Oh, could be rise. Okay, well the Yule's there for Ace into an Ice Path. Is this enough to take him out? It looks- No! Okay, the damage over time we were talking about being a nerf is a nerf in this instance, and both of them get away. Really surprising they get away with that kill. But again, this is a position for Slarder, so it's not like- Oh, Doom. Oh, you know, bottom lane. Doom used on Elder Titan. Yeah, he's gonna die this. for this. He doesn't have mana to TP out. He got Frostbitten, but here comes yeah, Hani. Torrent, boats, and good. Boom! Easy Kanka. And Elder, Elder Titan lives, lives too. He had Tranquil Boots, and the Doom was not even level 3, so... He lives through the damage. And as a result, almost gets his Yule Scepter. I think Fnatic are actually not looking too shabby in this. They're still pretty Dead far lane. behind, but they're finding a, a lot torrent, of free it kills. Was an ice path, dual breath, and again, finding another pickoff. So Secret just getting really careless with the, their positioning. Yeah, Love seeing the blink build kills. from Hani, by the way. In in most pub games where when Kunkka gets played, I think I feel like this is something that especially uh, exclamation mark attacker implemented. Like the whole he kind of designed a way of playing Kunkka, which became famous and popular, where you get Battle Fury first, and then you get Blink, and then you X mark yourself, you Blink in, you cleave, and then you pull yourself out, and then you just play around being in the periphery and never really exposing yourself to fighting. Uh, and the, the Blink Dex here was extremely cool. I I love the synergy with Blink and X marks the spot. And even if Hani's not getting the Battle Fury build, just Blink and Daedalus is very deadly and can make for some big plays. So perhaps Fnatic can pull it Radiant's out. And they're going to have to because they're getting out farmed big time. Kuro is Come almost on. 100 CS ahead now. Yeah, I mean, Seeker still has the major advantage as far as gold is going. Blink picks up a Blink Dagger. What do you think about this? We've seen it a couple times. I mean, it's not the mm. most un. I don't know, it's not Radiant's that uncommon, but I understand his- Oh, he's gonna oh, get the Kuro. And that had a killed. Mjolnir recipe for Broke himself. So, yeah, Radiant's I understand his idea with getting the Blink. It's, it's also a common build on Clinks Dyer's to get a Blink Dagger at some point, so you can attack. position yourself, or you can burst someone and get out and just reset. Uh, but in this game, I don't know if he has what it takes to even fight in the first place, so... Maybe it's fortified. for split pushing and just more safety around the map in general, but if it's if it's the fighting idea with the Blink, I just don't agree with it for him. I agree a lot with Hani for it, but not so much with the Clinks. I think maybe if you wanted to fight, get a Crystalis and just hit hard, or a BKB so you can actually fight without just getting killed. Well, Aegis runs out. Radiant's middle tower is Life still will not have a second life. He's been inside Queen of Pain for quite some time. They're waiting for somebody to TP to defend this mid lane, but... Uh, they will give up on it and defend bottom themselves. Actually, this should be denied. It is by Puppy BKB by S4. Life Sealer still inside of her. Must feel really good against that. Delicious wench. We have Ice Bat music. Big Daddy into White Lotus. Gonna end up being a trade. Torrent comes out. Doesn't really hit because of the BKBs. Elder Titan all dealing damage. But again, the farm advantage is showing through spades. Secret, only lose one, one to four, and it's gonna be an end of it being a team one. He gets the boat off. The fact that he didn't use both that whole time, even just for the buff, maybe it was on cooldown, perhaps? That was really surprising. Don't think so, it's a very short cooldown. It's a 50 second cooldown ability right now, so he who, should have had that. Who got doomed in that? He wasn't doomed, I though. did was... not see that, so I'm not sure, but 
like, my moment Secret get in and get the fight on their terms and they get a good jump like that, if there's no ship on top of Fnatic instantly, they're gonna get torn apart. And it's, it's just the gold lead speaking right there. And in addition to Secret's lineup in general, having a decent burst, like Venge stun on a target, they have a lot of damage with Vengeance Aura, Queen of Pain if she gets her ultimate and scream off on multiple heroes, and level death, then people are Radiance kind of doomed to die. And none of the Radiant heroes are tanky. We didn't talk Radiant so much about their health. So if the, without the ship buff, all of them have about a thousand health. It's it's easy money to use for Team Secret. Radiance okay, Jakiro. Oh, oh, I yeah. Ace getting really no cocky. Matters. Deals a considerable amount of damage, but there comes the swap S4. Sonic with again on white. He's used it exclusively on single heroes. That was obviously a miss, though. Uh, they do take out Crystal Maiden and a Shadow Strike. Should be enough. Oh, here comes the boat. Talking about the little cooldown. It's gonna hit, and it hits S4 directly in the gullet. Will blink out the safety, however, and gets healed by Puppy. What a great support! <laughs> As it is a two for rise, two, but he's dusted. No, Still gonna rise. go for the kill. This could end well for Fnatic. Going really deep, really deep. He gets one kill, but Simba axes him down. Triple kill going the way of Doom, in fact, who will TP out. Pretty much no issue. That was really cocky. I by, didn't even by realize Clinks. that S4 didn't use Sonic Wave in the previous fight. How did they just easily make quick work of Fnatic and that, and with him not even using the Sonic? But well, three for three change, uh, exchange rather. I don't know. Even trade, I suppose. Like the both teams lose. Let's see, the Radiant lost two cores. They lost Jakira and Clinks, and the Dire lost Venge and Slaughter. So. Those were two supports, so maybe slightly favoring Secret and they got the tier two, but at the end of the day, if it's a slightly favoring one team or another, it doesn't matter. The story of this game is Secret is out farming, out controlling, once again like in game one, and Fnatic have to find some sort of big fight, but I don't think their lineup is really tailored for it, that's the problem. They don't have burst in... I, I don't feel like they have enough team fight bursts to just destroy the dire team when they want. Oh, this oh, could be into Torrent, but Slardar is here to support if need be. And in fact, this is going to force Fnatic all the way A triple crush by No Tail! Holy jeez, here comes the boat. It's going to get the buff and nothing else. Simba, in the meantime, has the Doom available. Doesn't really want to use it on Ahani. Might be forced to, however. The right clicks are enough to take him out, however. So one for one, one for two, I'm sorry. Crystal Maiden did die in that engagement. And the chase continues. Arise is seen thanks to this beautiful dust usage. S4 gets clipped by the ice path. And Kuroki is here oh, got to doomed. greet everybody. He's gonna die and from Doom. Just gonna leave Arise to die to the Doom in the end. And Ace has the Ghost Hunter, which is a really nice pickup, but again, they have enough time to kite him around with all the rest of their team dead. So it's a four for one. An amazing initiation, or counter initiation in that case, by No Tail. And Secret once again just getting way better, way better exchanges. Now Roshan is gonna respawn as well. They could set up for that and kill it really fast. Slaughter has reached level 11, so they have level 2 amp. And if they timed it, they should know that this is a pretty Dyer's realistic time for Roshan to respawn. Attack. They're controlling the map. It, it's actually a free Rosh right now if they go there. The Radiant, even if they buy back, are not going to be there in time, but they also don't have buybacks, so... Well, Fnatic, they came into this match as the underdog. I feel like we're seeing why in both games. Their movement is worse, their decision-making is worse. I think their drafts in, bo in both games have been okay, but... Just the execution isn't isn't crisp enough. Okay. The game will go on, regardless of your opinion, Cinder. How dare you? <laughs> Shiva's picked up a bit too. <laughs> when I have nothing to say, that's what the kind of thing I say. I just berate you. I don't know. That's all I got. Uh, okay, Shiva's though, picked okay. up by Simba, so he's going to be super tanky to the physical damage coming on. And the problem with... Uh, Clink's getting an Orchid, which is a great item. You really want to get a lot of pickoffs early, which just hasn't been the case. He's 5 and 6, so he has some kills, but just 4 deaths in that case. No Tail's going to spot out Roshan. Could they go in here just even with everybody's spells up on the opposite? Um, yeah. Yeah, they could. <laughs> they just, they, well, they really could. They just need someone to scout outside the pit, but they don't, I'm not even sure they need that right now, because they have Vision Min. They see that there's two Radiant Heroes there. This is a free one. Okay. That's like less than an eight second like rush. literally five second kill. Life Sealer Easy. again has the Aegis. Hopefully he uses it this time instead of killing. Although he was infested in Quap for quite a bit of that time. They just haven't been fortunate enough. We haven't really seen any amazing Nakes bombs this game. That's usually a staple for that hero with any kind of combination that has mobility. That's true. Star Spirit, Quap, just haven't Quap really seen that come to fruition. Decent partner. I think part of the reason is just the way the way the movement around the map has been is 
PS4 doesn't really want to blink into the face of Fnatic when there's multiple heroes missing, because yes, sure, they can get an Infest Bomb out, but he exposes himself a lot. Now that he does, of course, he's had the BKB for a long time, don't get me wrong, uh, but I, I just... I haven't really seen many openings where I was like, wow, a life stealer bomb would have been really good right now. Rather, just having the slaughter be the opener and then following up with the life stealer running in or getting carried in is, is perfectly fine. The bomb factor doesn't really need to play in in this in this particular game. Peeker just infesting, if you will, the enemy forest, just taking advantage of the farm and map control that they currently have. Radiant's middle tower is under they actually attack. have quite a bit of towers, I just noticed. <laughs> they have all but one outer tower. That's really surprising to see how this game is going. Yeah, absolutely. Jakiro in a nutshell, I suppose. Lifestealer finishes off the Assault Kyrus. And I was looking at Elder Titan. Looks like he's building the Crimson Guard, which is an amazing choice this game. Radiant's he's able to get it up, but is, man, is it too little too late? Kuroki, torrented, just stands there and takes it. Part of having an aim. Oh, we have initiation. Connie gets blown up right at the start. He has a buyback. He will use it right away. Elder Titan not able to get off anything. So they insta give two heroes, force one buyback. They still have Aegis. And they didn't even have. Or Ryze isn't even in the base. He has no teleportation. They're sure and fast. Nor, no toilet paper whatsoever. Hani again. That's a dieback, ladies and gentlemen. And they're going to continue the pressure. Crit almost gets. Okay. <laughs> the Sonic Wave again. Solo heroes the entire game. And it's been on Crystal Maiden almost every time. Poor, poor Crystal Maiden. <laughs> Flix is on the way in. Yeah, this is going to be a good game. So 2-0. Secret, they are now 4-1. So far in chapter... Oh yeah, you're right. Five, wait. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I can count. 5-1. It's actually really four impressive. 4-1, that's like 5 games, which is like 3 series. It's too much. one game. <laughs> it's too much math this early in the morning. It's still technically morning for me. Yeah, nice excuse. I believe yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I thank you. So yeah, that's a 2-0 for Secret. Next up after this, it's going to be Fnatic again, but this time they're going to be playing Evil Genius. So is what correct? is it you say? From the fire into the ashes? Or... What? That's not what you say, is it? That's not how you say the it. The fire into the ashes? Is that the saying? Like, you go from one bad thing to another. I've... <laughs> Okay, it could be a saying that I've just never heard, but I, I think, think I'm butchering. I think I'm butchering your idioms right now. I could be. All right, so with but... that idiom, I'm going to bid you no, all. No, wait, it's, it's from something into the fire, right? 